To create a number sequence in Excel is really easy. Type 1 in one cell and then 2. Select the cells and then click on the black dot here and hold and then drag to cells below. And the sequence continues. You can also double click on the black dot to automatically extend the fill range and here I have values to row 10 so if I double click this it extends to row 10. You can also type 1 in one cell and then select it and right click and hold on the black dot and then drag down and this menu opens and if you click fill series it will add the values it will continue the numbers and you can also type 1 and right click on it and hold and then drag to cells below and there click series and here you have you can choose a step value so if you don't want it to increase by one you can change it to two and click OK and this series is created. If you need to build a sequence that starts all over again after a certain specific number, you can use the if function. And to do that, type equal sign and if and parenthesis. And if the previous value is equal to 4 then start on over again with number 1 and if the previous value is not equal to 4 then add it with 1 ending parenthesis and this adds the previous value with 1 until it is 4 and then it restarts all over again. And here is the number sequence. In this case, uh, it, the sequence starts all over if value A is in the adjacent column or cell. And type equal sign if function. And then I want to check if this value is equal to A. And if it is, return 1. And if it isn't, return the previous value plus 1. And then copy this to cells below. And here is value A, so the sequence starts all over again. And here it is again. This sequence here starts all over when a new month begins in this column. So to do, to build a formula that creates this sequence, type if and parenthesis and then check if year this is equal to year of the previous value and I need two logical expressions here so I'm going to use parenthesis and then asterisk multiplying it with the other logical expression 
which is mum equals the month of the previous value. So if they are equal to each other, I want the previous value and add one to that. And if they're not equal, I want it to start all over with one again. And press and this gives me an error because I can't extract the year and month from this text up here. So I need to copy this to the cell below and type 1 here. And now I'm going to copy this formula to and paste it to cells below. So to do that I simply click and hold on the black dot and then drag down and release. And now the sequence starts all over with one again when the month when there's a new month. So for this to work it needs to be sorted this column here. And the dates in this column here are not sorted. So the sequence here really counts the year and month. So the first value is January 2017 and that is the first date. The second one is February and that is the first in that month. So it returns one there. And this is the second date in 2017, February. So it returns two. And this is the first date in March, so it returns 1. And this is the second date in January 2017. And it then goes on. And to build that sequence, I need to use a, some product function. And then compare the year with the year of this cell here but I want it to expand when I copy this formula so I lock the first cell reference And that will make the second part of this cell reference change when I copy it. And then I want to do the same thing with the month. Equal month. And I want to compare it to a cell reference that is has two parts and this should return one and I forgot the parenthesis there and then copy this to cells below and the same sequence appears as here and that's it the dates in column b are not sorted and i'm going to build a formula that counts the number of dates in each year and equal sign some product 
and then the year and this year equal sign year and a colon and the second the second part of the cell reference ending parenthesis and change this to a locked cell reference and then I need to the sum product function can sum boolean values so I need to use a parenthesis and multiply it with one to convert the boolean values to to zeros or ones and if I copy this and enter it here you will see that it returns boolean values and then copy the formula to cells below and it now counts the year so this is the first date with the year 2015 and this is the first date with 2017 and this is the second date in 2015 so it returns two years and this is the third date fourth and this is the second in 2017 and third in 2017 and the sequence i'm going to build here is going to uh, count the value so this is the first instance of apple so it returns one and this is the first instance of banana and this is the first instance of orange but this is the second value equal to banana and this is quite easy use the type equal sign and then count it function and here i want an expanding cell reference and to do that lock the first part of the cell reference and the second part is going to be this and this look at the first argument here when i copy this to the cells below it changes it's now b4 b5 b6 because this cell ref this part of the cell reference is relative and the first part is absolute or locked to cell b3 and this sequence here counts the number of times a price is within a range so in this case it's between 500 and 1000 and that is the first val first price value in that range so it returns one here is 501 and it's also between 500 and 1000 so it's the second value and if the, form, the formula returns two and zero is the first value in range zero to 500 so it returns one and thousand is the first value in range thousand to 1500 so to build that use the sum product function and that will uh, make it a regular formula so you, you don't need to enter it as an array formula and the next thing to do is to use the match function and I want to look up this value here in this cell range here and this the values in this cell range are sorted 
so I can use the the, uh, the third argument can be one because the lookup array is in an ascending order and then parenthesis and I want to know how many of the previous values that also are in this range so I'm going to use the match function again and then use a cell reference to b9 colon b9 comma and I want to look at this cell range here and I want this cell range to be locked so press f function key f4 to lock it because I don't want the lookup array to change in the first argument the cell reference there has two parts and I want the first part to be locked so it will expand this cell reference when I copy the formula to cells below and I also want this cell reference to be locked then the third argument in the match function is one and then I need to multiply this logical test with one because the sum product function can't sum boolean values and then an ending parenthesis and then press enter and then double click on the black dot to copy the formula to cells below and here is the number sequence and this number sequence counts the number of records that have a specific product and a specific year so the first record is one and the second record is also one because the product is not the same and the third record is also number one because the year is different and and the fourth record uh, is as is number is year 2009 and the product is apple so it's the second record that in that category and to build that formula type equal sign some product to make it an, a regular formula and then year and an ampersand to concatenate the year and the product value and then compare these values with uh, here again and a cell reference that expands and an ampersand to concatenate and expanding the values in an expanding cell reference c3 colon c3 and I need to make the first part absolute and then use a parenthesis to mul and multiply it with one because this is a logical expression and it will return true or false and some product can count boolean values and an ending parenthesis for the some product function and now press enter and copy this and here is the number sequence 